Okay, let's do our warm ups and some things for our backs today. So come into mountain pose, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, activate your core, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Take a moment to spread your toes out and don't forget to breathe. Get into your yoga perspective, bringing in energy and awareness. And exhaling anything you no longer want or need in your life or mind or body. And then on an inhalation, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front and clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers toward the floor and lift your heart. Come into a little upper body back bend to start stretching that spine. Pivot over as you exhale and deepen as much as you like. Hands up toward the ceiling, head down toward your legs as far as it wants to go. And don't forget to breathe. Straighten your knees, lift your sitting bones as much as they will. And then bend your knees slightly, keep your chin in and wind all the way up into that upper body for your back bend. And again, hands toward the floor, just opening across the heart as it stretch your spine through the neck, through the top of the head. Spread out your toes. Inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment feeling that circulation start increasing. And again, arms stretch out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, clasp the opposite way behind you, so shift the fingers one position over, and again, come into your upper body back bend with the hands toward the floor. Pivot at your hips again, come on all the way into that forward position. Move your chin around, get that neck releasing, lift your sitting bones, stretch the whole back of your body. And then again, knees slightly bent as you lift your ribs and drop your sitting bones in a line from the bottom of the spine back all the way up into your back bend. Stretch your head back, lift your heart, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, releasing into mountain pose. Take a moment, feel your spine, and side stretch time. Arms out, palms up, hands over your shoulders. Go ahead, pass them, turn them, and clasp. Bring your arms back by your ears. Sitting bones down, shoulder blades down, crown high, lean to the side, no twist. So get those ribs stretching apart as you push the foot you're leaning away from down. Make sure you're not leaning forward or backward, just straight to the side. Get it as open as it feels right. And then inhale back upright, keep the shoulders down, switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull the arms next to your ears. Spread your toes, lean to the other side. And again, opening through the ribs as you just straight over, push out through your hands. Push the foot down, get that extra rib stretching apart. And then again, inhale upright and release into that pulls. Taking a moment, just feeling your body, stretching that spine apart so we can do a twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Keep your arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, stretch up through the crown, and turn to your side. Take a breath, pivot on the way. And as you deepen into that pivot, just lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees, keep your arms next to your ears, and just relax. Keep the weight on both feet and work your way back up. In the twist, lifting your heart, drop your shoulders, and pull your elbows back. Take a moment and breathe, stretching that spine. And inhale up, exhale right to the center. And switch your arms. And again, lengthen up through the spine and turn to the other side. The breath in, weight on both feet evenly as you exhale over in the twist. And again, deepen as far as your body wants, and then relax. 
everything hanging in that broken arm. And staying in your twist, inhale your way back up into that upper body, that bend one more time. So shoulders are down, elbows back, chest high, and your breathing. And again, lengthen through the whole body, out through the top of your head. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center. Keep the shoulders down, the fingertips up in extended mountain. And just get centered evenly into your feet. Keep the hands where they are, right next to your ears with those arms as you look up and pull those hands a little bit behind you. So upper body back then. Stretch it out and come back up. Again, extended mountain. Shoulders are down, away from your ears. And don't forget to breathe. And then swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, pivoting again at your hips. That's parallel to the floor, stretching it out, everything long and straight. And then drop in the rag doll, take a moment and breathe. Go in deeper for a nice forward bend, getting that full back of your body, especially the low back here, and just stretching. Hands back to the center. Let's do another roll up into mountain pose. So coming back into your standing position, weight still even on your feet. And then bringing your hands, heels of the palms on the lower shoulder legs, fingertips down toward your waist and hips. Pull your elbows toward each other, feel that chest expand. Still in mountain pose with the rest of your body. A nice little support on your low back, and then lift your heart and look slightly up, but don't lift your chin too much. So keep stretching the back of the neck. Spread your toes and just come into that back bend as deeply as you want. Elbows toward each other, chest toward the ceiling. And then inhale upright, release your arms and take a moment feeling a little more energy through your spine. And let's work that spine a little bit more going to the wall or door. So stand in front of your wall or door and bring your hands onto the wall, right in front of your shoulders. And then bring them up, heels of the palms where the tips of your fingers were, so the hands are a little higher, still shoulder width apart. Press the fingers apart and into the wall, and then take a step back. So feet are hip width apart. Head is going up toward your hands, and then pull the ribs down toward the floor and push your sitting bones back over your ankles. So the ankles, knees, hips are aligned, and your upper body is going into a nice back bend, just gently dipping the ribs down, the chest forward and down, and the head up toward the hands. So Upper body back bend through that shoulder blade area, rib area especially. Just deepen as much as you want. Push those sitting bones maybe further back. And exhale, dropping deeper into the back bend. And then bend your knees and take a step forward. And release your arms coming back to the mat. And as you get back to the mat in mountain pose, bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment there, core active, supporting your spine. Look at your hands, bring them toward the ceiling and a little bit behind you. Another back bend this time unsupported. Stretch it out, swan dive again, pivoting over all the way into red. Take a moment, pull in deeper if you love it. And hands back to the center. And then straighten your knees, straighten your back, bring your arms right at shoulder level, straight out to the sides, and pivot up. See if those arms are still shoulder level as you get all the way up. And then palms to the ceiling, hands overhead, and another little back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on all the way into ragdoll. Take a moment, just hanging, lifting your sitting bones. And then slide your hands up under your knees, halfway up stretch. 
Elbows, knees, spine straightening. And then bend your knees, coming to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips back onto your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down toward the floor. So go as deeply into that as you like, feeling the stretch on the back of your body. Exhale any tension. And then bring your hands to the front toward the sides of the mat. Pivot up, slide your feet back. We're rolling down, hips to the floor, whole upper body down, and head coming to the side as you turn. Hands, palms up at your hips, coming into resting crocodile. Just relax. And on an exhalation, turn your head to the other side. We always want to balance that neck area and stretch it evenly. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring your forehead toward the floor. Bring your hands next to your head, palms down, elbows in toward your side. And inhale. Face to the front, crown up. Tuck your chin back toward your chest, shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist, and then push your heart forward and up, and crown toward the ceiling, upper body back bend. So a little sphinx starting position, gentle cobra. Take a moment to breathe, pulling those elbows back and in toward you as you push the chest forward and up. So only go as far as you want. Your ribs can stay on the floor. You can stay near the floor if your lower back feels like it's getting overworked. Make sure it's personal practice, what's right for your back. Pulling those shoulders back and down, keeping that heart area nice and open. Good for those of you who drive or compute or sew on your sewing machine so that you're keeping that chest into a nice back bend. And then exhale slowly back down. As your forehead touches, just relax those shoulders, relax the hips, and keep those feet hip width apart. And then we're gonna go a little deeper into the low back. So go ahead and inhale, face to the front, crown up, coming into that same upper body starting position. Chin back toward your chest, chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. Remember, your hands aren't supporting you, just positioning, pulling those elbows in toward your side and back toward your hips. Feet are hip width apart, stretch the legs out, and then lift one leg, knees straight, pushing out through your toes, just gently off the floor. Go only as high as it feels okay for your low back. It's a little intense if it is a challenging area for you. And then exhale, bring that foot back down. Exhale, your upper body back down. Forehead touches, just stretch the back of your neck, the back of your back, and relax. Feet are hip width apart. Elbows in, palms down. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, tuck that chin slightly toward your chest, stretching the back of your neck, and then chest forward, crown high, again coming into your upper body starting position. Stretch the legs back, this time focus on the left leg as you keep the knees straight and raise that foot off the floor as high as it wants to go. And again, breathing chest forward, crown high, no pressure in your arms, just letting the back and spine do the work. Take a breath, stretch it out, exhale, lower the leg. And again, another breath before you exhale the upper body down. As you get your forehead back down, once again, just relax everything. And we're going to do the same thing with both feet. So once again, forehead on the floor, hands next to your face, and elbows in. Inhale the face forward, crown up, chin back toward your chest so that neck stretches, and chest forward and up, shoulders, shoulder blades down, and upper body starting position. Stretch it out through the toes, up through the crown and chest, and lift both feet off the floor. 
Just a tie that feels okay for you. Remember, never overdo back work. Always personal practice. Take a breath, lift a little higher if you love it, but don't if it's already enough. Stretch it out and exhale the feet down. Take another breath, exhale the upper body in. This time when the forehead touches, bring your hands under your shoulders and we'll push up and back into child pose. Hands next to your feet, good rounding through your whole spine. Stretch that lower back extra with your knees together if you want to. Take a moment and breathe. Just get a good forward bend, undoing that over back bending you might have been doing. Exhale any tension. And then bring your hands again out in front to the sides of the mat, pivoting up, rolling down, and again into resting crocodile on the mat. Head to the side, feet hip width apart, shoulders down, hands, palms up. Exhale, turn your head to the other side. And again, just breathe and relax as you're in that position. And we're going to do upper body cobra this time. So once again, forehead to the floor. Bring your arms overhead along the floor, hands at shoulder width apart. Take a moment and breathe, just stretch. Let those arms, armpits come down toward the floor and don't forget to breathe. And then bring your fingertips where the heels of the palms were and bring your hands to the floor, palms down, elbows out toward the edges of the mat and your forehead on the floor. Feet are hip width apart, your hips sink evenly into the floor. And then once you inhale, bring your face forward crown toward the ceiling. Tuck the chin back toward your chest. And again, chest forward and up, coming into the upper body this time for that back bend. So neck area, very high on the shoulders as you're in that position with the hands way out in front. Take a moment, ribs are on the floor. Remember your arms and hands don't support you. Your spine does the work. So just let it strengthen as you're there. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on, all the way back down. Forehead to the floor, relax through the back of the neck, and bring the fingertips again to the heel of the palm, hands back just over your head, shoulder width apart, elbows way off the mat, out to the side. Take a moment and breathe, relax the hips, the legs. Remember, they do nothing as we're in our regular cobras. So inhale, face forward, crown up, chin tucking back toward your chest, and chest moving forward and up. Stretch that back of the neck up all the way out through the crown. And again, ribs can stay down, no pressure in those arms. Let the spine support you. And the only as high as you'd like, this is the upper back right across that shoulder area if your hands are just above your head on the floor when your head is down. Take a moment and breathe, chest forward, crown high. Just feel what's going on in your body as you let the spine support you. And again, exhale and come on all the way back down. Forehead touches, stretch the back of your neck, relax completely into the surface beneath you. Fingertips back where your heel of the palm was. So you're probably right about the temple area with your hands this time. Elbows are off the mat, out to the sides. Forehead starts on the floor, hips relax, feet hip width apart. And inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck the chin back again toward your chest, and then chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. Stretch the neck, and remember, no pressure in your hands. Take a moment, feel where this contraction is on your back, focusing probably around the shoulder blade area this time. So a little lower on your back. So remember, the further away your hands are, the higher up your neck 
Lift closer toward your shoulders, the more down toward your low back, the cobra works. So just do what's right for your body. Feel that contraction wherever it is. And just notice where your hands are as it happens. Stretch out through the chest, up through the crown, and then exhale slowly, forehead again down to the floor. As you relax, just like the next stretch, exhale any tension, and yogini choice, your choice, where you want your hands, next to your temples, just above your head, further out with the elbows bent, your choice as you breathe. Plant your hands where you want them to be. Forehead starts on the floor, relax your hips and legs. And then inhale, face forward, crown up. Chin tucking just slightly as you bring your chest forward and up. Feel the back of the neck stretch and just let that head lift toward the ceiling as you come into your upper body back bend. So wherever your hands are, that's where you chose to have that main contraction. Further out, it's up closer to your neck. Further back toward your temples, it's down toward your shoulder blades. So if you're in the wrong place, exhale back down, move those hands either out or closer, and try it again. Take a moment and breathe. Just feel that spine is back bend. And as you stretch out through the crown, again, exhale and lower your head to the mat. When it touches, bring your hands once more under your shoulders and push back into an extended child pose. So hands still out in front, bring those arms, shoulders nice and open, relax them down toward the floor. And can be down toward the floor or all the way on the mat if it wants to be. Feel that stretch on the back of your body. And then again, bringing the hands over to the sides, pivot on up and down. One more time into our relaxation. Head to the side. Exhale again. Just relax. Once again on the exhalation, turn your head to the opposite side. Feel that resting crocodile, letting those shoulders release down. And we're going to go into one more gentle cobra for our twist. So go ahead and bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your hands once again near your head, elbows into your sides. And inhale your face forward. Crown up toward the ceiling, shoulder, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And then chest forward and up, coming into that upper body back bend in your cobra. Feet are hip width apart, they do nothing. Just let those hips sink. Stretch the spine out through the crown. And as you exhale, lift the hip on one side as you turn toward that side, turning your hips, ribs, and shoulder into a twist looking to the side. Just as deeply into that twist as your body likes today. Breathing into it and stretching through the spine. Take a moment and breathe. And as you exhale, turn back to the center. Once again, crown up, chest forward, shoulders down, upper body back, bend in your cobra. And then exhale, forehead to the floor. Take a moment and breathe as you get all the way back down. And again, just relax your arms and hands. Relax your hips and legs, feet hip width apart. Inhale, face to the front, crown up, tuck that chin back toward your chest, and chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, crown high. Take a moment and breathe, stretching your cobra up through the crown, stretching those bones apart for the twist. And again, as you exhale, turn to the other side. It comes up slightly, as the hips, ribs, and shoulder turn toward that opposite side. Again, feel the twist through your whole upper body as you go into that position as deeply as your body would like. Stretch it out, lengthening through your spine, and exhale back into the center. And again, as you get back to the middles, chest forward, crown high, 
and then slowly exhaling forehead to the floor. As you get down, bring your hands again under your shoulders. We're pushing back once more into child pose. Hands next to your feet and forehead down. You can bring those knees together if you want a little extra stretch on your back. Take a moment there, breathing, relaxing, just deepening as much as your body wants into that forward bend. You can bring your chin in and roll all the way into a kneeling position. And then slide off and bring your feet to the end of the neck. So, step position, feet hip width apart, press up through the heels, knees, and toes up. Activate your core and roll to the mat. As you get all the way down, just take a moment there. Relax your shoulders, relax your hands. Sitting by the slightly toward your heels, press your back down. And bring your heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. So a little rolling at the top of the thigh to make sure they're not spreading apart. We're just going to press the back down, core contracting as you press down. And then as you inhale, slide the sitting bones towards your shoulders and your ribs up toward the ceiling, getting a space under your back. And just a little low back strengthening after all our back bending today. So just exhaling, pressing down, inhaling, arching up just a few times at your own pace. Exhale, releasing back into a neutral position. Hands, palms up, releasing your legs out and coming into corpse position for our final relaxation. Deep breath in, exhale, just let your body grow heavy, sinking into that surface beneath you. Feel where you're touching, where the earth is supporting you, and let your body go deeper into that connection. And just move your head side to side, let your neck, shoulders release, hands relaxing, Fingertips up, palms toward the ceiling. Toes touch, and then just release through the hips, through the legs, and let your body sink even deeper into that earth support. Deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Just as you breathe more deeply, just let your body keep connecting gently into the earth. And allow your awareness of your body to release as everything relaxes further. And as your body relaxes, just allow your mind to release thoughts of your body. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath without attention. Allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind, focusing inward, finding that peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace, and just take a few moments being peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, just keep relaxing as long as you have opportunity. It is time to get ready for the rest of your day. Begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin stretching your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching and moving just slowly as you become ready to do so. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, 
Bring your sitting bones slightly towards your heels, back gently down, your heels up near your sitting bones, and your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today, and the work your body does for you every day. Maybe a little circling that low back today after all that spine work. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.